And for answering this question, let's take an example, which I think is a very good example for explaining that. Suppose that we have created an image like this using the NumPy array. As you know, we can create images by NumPy array by hand, as we have did here. So you can see that our image has two rows. This is row number one, which corresponds to this row, and row number two, which corresponds to this row. And in row one, we have two columns. This is column one, which you can see it corresponds to this red pixel. And as you know, it is the RGB system. So this is 255 red, and this is green, and this is blue. So you can see it is totally red. And the second pixel, the second column of this row is totally green, and the other one, I mean this guy, is totally blue, and the other one is totally black. So that's it. As you can see, we have created an image by hand. And now we are, we are using the matplotlib package in order to show that image. And finally, we are showing all this stuff. And if I run the code, you will get this image as the result. So now let's talk about how we can split our image into three channels, R, G, B, red, green, blue. In order to do so, so for example, we define a variable, let's say called R, which is for the red channel. We simply type image, which is our image, and we simply type all the rows and all the columns, but the zeroes index at the color channel. As you can see, our color channel has red, green, blue, but we want the zeroth index, which corresponds to the red channel. That's it. So this is our red channel. So if I print R, and if I run the code, you can see here is the result, which says that, for example, in the first pixel, the red channel is 255, that's true. In the second pixel, it is a zero, that's true. In the third pixel, it is a zero, that's true. And the fourth pixel, it is a zero as well. And that's totally true. But there is a better way of writing this. We can replace these two by ellipses, by three dots, which is called ellipses. And what does it mean? It means that we don't care about the previous axes for this image. We just care about the last axis, which is the color axis. So we it means that we don't care about the previous axes, we just care about the last axis, and we want the zeroth element of that last axis, and we don't care about the previous axes. So that's it. This is the meaning of three dots, or let's say called ellipsis in Python programming language. And now another example. Suppose that we have defined an array like this, which is a matrix, which you can see the first row is one, two, the second row is three, four. And suppose that we want to index the first column, which is one, three. In order to do so, as you know, we can use print x and, for example, we can say all the rows and column zero. So if I run a code, you can see we have indexed the first column, which is one, three. But there is another way of doing it. And we can replace this with three dots, or let's say called ellipsis. And it means that I want to care about the last axis, which is the column axis. And I want the zeroth column. And I don't care about the previous axes, which is the row. So it means that we want all the rows, but the zeroth column. So if I run the code, you can see we get the same result. But remember that ellipsis is more common when we are talking about arrays, which has more than two dimensions.